What's going on guys, this is Ben from the Bay and in this video I'll be showing you how to get GTA 5 for free on PC. This download contains the latest updates and everything available so let's go ahead and get started. Click the link in the description below and it'll take you here to brogamer.com. Once you're here what you want to do is scroll down until you see these two download buttons. The bottom contains a torrent download but for this video I'll be showing you how to download through an external website. So click the red download button and it'll take you here to upload haven. Now you gotta wait 5 seconds for the download to be available and once it's available just click that button that says download now. As you can see here's your download and just wait for it to finish. It'll depend on how fast your internet connection is so just be patient. Okay now once the download is finished what you want to do is just close out of everything. Then click your start button and enter into your downloads folder. Here's the zip file containing the game, so what you want to do is just drag it down to your desktop. Then right click on the zip file and click the fifth option, extract to GTA 5. In order to do this you'll need WinRAR and if you do not have it, I have a link to it in the description below. And just wait for the files to extract. Once again, it may take a while, so just wait. Once the files are done extracting, you'll notice a new folder on your desktop contain the game, so double click into it. Double click into this folder, then click the Setup Ultra Repack 2.1 application and enter into it by double clicking. Select your language then click OK. Now here just click Next. Next again. Next. And make sure that all of these are ticked. These are crucial to running the game and then once that's done click Install. Installation may take a while, it took me 3 hours, so just be patient. Okay now once installation is over, what you want to do is untick these last two boxes and make sure the rest are ticked. Then click finish. Now here as you can see the files are checking, let them check, don't close out of anything. And once the files are done checking, you'll see that it'll be 139 out of 139, and just close out of it. Now DirectX should pop up, and just click I accept. Then click next, and wait for it to install. It says I have the latest version of DirectX already, so just click finish. Now a C++ installation should pop up. Once again, it's crucial to running the game, so click I agree and click install. And wait for it to install. Setup is successful, so let's close out of it. Another C++ installation will pop up. Again, agree to the terms, then click install. And wait for it to finish installing. Setup successful, so let's close out of it. Now we can almost run the game now, but before you do anything, let's close out of this window and locate the icon to the game as shown right here. Before entering into the game, right click on it and click on properties. Click on compatibility and make sure run this program as admin is checked. Click apply and then click OK. And now let's enter into the game, so double click into it. Now calibrate your display and then hit the enter key on your keyboard once you're satisfied with it. And there we go, here is the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and comment below on what game I should do next. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching me, and until next time, peace.